Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. All right, y'all, someone's feeling dumb. Your twin is feeling stupid right now, okay? They feel like they made a wrong choice. They feel like they were careless. Um, this was somebody that was, you know, playing games with you or they weren't taking you very seriously, but they're feeling stupid right now. They're gonna see why. <laughs> feeling like a clown. Why is my collective twin feeling like a clown? Forever changed. Mm. So maybe you guys are enacting some type of change and you're sticking to it. All right, something has changed, whether that's you. All right, so we have fights. We have reconciliation. Okay, and we have, this is somebody, divine intervention. And we have extravagant gestures that wants to come out. This is somebody that wants to, they want to come back. They will be back if they haven't come back yet. They will. They're going to, they feel like you guys have unfinished business. They will want to work things out. They're going to want to come in and try to make something up to you, make something right with you. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that you're not speaking to, right? Or if you're, you're speaking to them, you guys are fighting. But you had some type of conflict or fight with them. But it says divine intervention. Angels are helping. Trust the divine plan. Believe in miracles. I just heard it's like something that you thought would never happen is maybe about to happen. Okay. So broken promises. This is somebody that misled you or this is how you feel. Like they feel like you feel like they've met. So for some of you, this is somebody that told you that they were getting a divorce or terminating a marriage or something. But that wasn't the truth. Or maybe some circumstances around a divorce or ending of another complicated relationship was causing this person to be unreliable for you or inconsistent in some way. Or th they were breaking their promises. They broke your trust in some way. They You feel like they misled you and it led to you guys having a very complicated relationship. All right. Take it how it resonates. But yeah, I definitely see that there's a separation here. Withdrawal, disconnect. Um, the relationship broke down. Um, somebody's trying to figure out strategizing, figuring out how they should come towards you. Know that they have to be intentional. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happened. Tell me about forever changed. What is forever changed? Okay. So we have friendship, friend zone, friendship before love, building trust foundation. What's that do with anything? Karmic connection. Okay, so what does this have to do with forever changed? Okay, and now what? Okay, so something is about to make a drastic change here, guys. Like, this person that you were having all this conflict and fighting and drama with, that you had a very painful experience with, or there was a lot of trouble with this person. For some of you, they friend zoned you, or it was really hard to build trust and a solid foundation with this person. Spirit is saying that there's about to be some lasting changes or it says a love that transforms. And the Spirit is saying that there is hope here. There is a bright future. There is healing. Um, what does this have to do with the collective? What is the collective? So home, what about home? Something, someone's reached, okay. What does that have to do with home? Going in circles, okay. Addiction. So what is about to happen here? Player, goodness. Hmm. Finality. So you guys, why is home here though? You guys are holding back from somebody. What is what does home have to do with anything? Love and growth and abundance. Okay, so I feel like for you, some of you guys are gonna be you've moved like you you like you you're making more money. You're able to move like to a bigger house or a better location or a nicer place or something like that. I kind of feel like this person, do you feel like home to this person? This person wants to come home to you. But this is also somebody, they're, they're not happy without you. You're, I feel like you guys are doing pretty well without this person. We have abundance, financial blessings, healthy money perspective, financial independence, and we have love and growth. So yeah, it says a love that grows with time, unexpected lessons in love needs time to grow. What does that have to do with the collective? Okay, that's too many. <laughs> Proof. For, okay. What does this have to do with them? I think this is their energy. Yeah, hot and cold and... Huh. I feel like 
this person was not able to recognize a good thing when they had it because they are so used to very turbulent relationships, karmic cycles, um, toxicity. All right. So I feel like this person didn't recognize a good thing when they had it because of the, their string of bad relationships before you. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a fly in here. So... Yeah, I just feel like they've been waiting for some type. Of, so now, guys, you're going to hear buzzing probably in the background. <laughs> Goodness. Um, there's some type of proof. They're getting some type of proof or confirmation that this is love. They, did, they feel like they had a lack of clarity. What is giving this person this proof now? What is this proof that this person, okay, so this card wants to come out again. Something is brewing. They're reaching some type of breaking point, losing, losing emotional. It's like they, like I said, they want to come home. This person doesn't feel like they want to stay away from you any longer. They're, they've been trying to hold back, but it's like they're about, why? What's happening? Well, for some of you, they're feeling very passionate. They're, they're missing the passion between the two of you. All right. They're craving you. They're feeling drawn to you. Um... Why, why are they, what's pushing them to their breaking point? What about toxic boundaries? It's like, you're no, no longer allowing them. See? Yeah, they're feeling very triggered right now. This person could have been like holding on to some type of grudge or resentment because of past, past relationships. Um, some of them, they were maybe even mistreated in a past relationship. I don't know, guys, but... Mm, this person you it's the, it's the fact that this person was toxic to you not good for you love vibrational toxic relationship you guys set boundaries there are boundaries put in place here no more enabling feeling used setting healthy boundaries you're no longer letting this person come back towards you if they are in that toxic toxic energy um and i don't know somehow they're getting some type of proof that they want to come in with some type of love offer they're having regrets here i'm still not getting what like okay so how are they feeling about these boundaries what is boundaries showing this person well they feel like you 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 guys have completely cut this person off like they feel like things happen very abruptly they feel like things are not over they have feel like there's no closure they feel like you just have completely disappeared out of their life tell me more they kind of feel like you don't love them anymore, that you don't want anything with them anymore. Okay, maybe they feel like you're losing attraction for them. Yeah. See, why do we have unrequited and mutual feelings here? That doesn't make, okay, what does that do with them? I think they want to come to some type of compromise. Yeah, they're trying to strategize. See, what does the divorce card keep going on? They feel like they're running out of time. Okay, so you're po quite possibly, they're going to, yeah, you're going to hear from this person. But I don't know if you and this person are going to still be on the same page yet. I don't know. I think you're going to hear from them. This is somebody that's been trying to handle something else. They have some type of other situation going on that they're trying to close out or end, right? And that's been causing them a lot of, like, issues. They got some other situations that they need to get handled and they need to close out and remove from their life if they want to have and you guys maybe even are requiring this of this person. You're like, do not come back towards me until you get your other situations figured out and closed out and you close those doors and you release all your baggage because, you know, this hasn't been working for the two of you, right? So I feel like this person is feeling the pressure right now. It's like, they do want, it's like... There's something here about timing, okay? So I feel like they do want to equal give and take with you. They do... They're going to want you to compromise with them or something. They're going to want you to, I don't even want to say wait exactly, but they're going to want you to kind of be more understanding or they're going to try to get you to like hear them out and see where they're coming from, consider their circumstances. Like um, this is somebody that's trying to end something else. They're going through a legal situation or they're going through a, a divorce or something like that, guys. And it's like the fact that you guys have, you, you guys maybe allowed them in your life before while they still had all that other shit going on right you would allow them to come back or come into your life while they still had, were going through this divorce or they had all that other those other chaotic situations going on now you are no longer letting this person in your life while they have all those loose ends or those other situations going on so 
now they're like, well, oh shit, I can't have my cake and eat it too. You know what I mean? I can't have the collective and also still be trying to get my shit together. I feel like maybe you guys, it's like, you guys didn't have any problem that this person didn't have it all together. But it was the fact that like all those other situations that they had going on, you know, they were still engaging in some toxic things or they, it was, they were in a very low vibrational energy because of all that other shit that they had going on. 11, 11 on the camera. Um, and it was making, causing them to be inconsistent and uh, that caused there to be a lack of clarity between you and this person, right? So I feel like this person's trying to figure out how they can have you and also, and like keep you from getting over them and moving on and dating other people while they're also trying to sort something else out. All right. I don't know. What is this proof energy? I still feel like they're not a hundred. What is proof? Okay, well, whatever they needed proof about, they're getting clarity on that. They're getting clarity. What is it that they needed clarity about? What? Okay, so if there was some type of lie, that's going to be getting clear, cleared up. Okay, this person maybe told you that. Okay, yeah, I'm very clear. You guys maybe even started thinking that this person was just using you for sex. Like, it was not love. Like, you, you started thinking that they didn't love you. They were just using you in some way. But... See, and it's been, you feel like this person lies a lot, but it's something about... Someone's getting clarity. Maybe this person was lying to themselves. What was the lie? What was the lie? I feel like somebody has been lying to themselves about you. I'm going to be honest with you. That's what's happening. It's like this person has been trying to tell themselves that they don't love you. You know, you maybe walked away from them. You set boundaries. They were still being stubborn. They were still not wanting to give you what it is that you were wanting from them or change the things that they needed to change to be with you. And you were like, all right, well then I'm done. I'm removing myself from the situation. You're no longer going to have me and also have your toxic shit. And I feel like now they're like realizing some things because now that there's an absence of you in their life. Right. Um, and that's not, that's not good for them. Right. That's they're realizing that that's, that's something that they do, do not want is for you to not be in their life. Um, this distance, are you pulling back your energy and setting these boundaries and like kind of like completely falling off the face of your, I, I keep getting this energy, you guys really like disappeared on this person this time, like you completely cut them off or like you're, you're not even, maybe before you would be like in minimal contact with them, no, it's nothing this time and I feel like it's, it was necessary, it's giving them a lot of clarity, all right, like yeah, exactly, all around them, it's like this person is like was telling themselves that, oh, I don't need the collective, I, I can get over them and I don't, it's not love. They didn't love me and I don't, I didn't love them. It wasn't real love, right? Well, the longer that they go without you and they're, the, these feelings are intensifying. I forget what card I saw that said that. What card did I see? Yeah, that the love and growth card. You know, normally when you break up with somebody and it wasn't somebody that, somebody that you really had feelings for, that it wasn't true love or that you weren't meant to be with, you start losing feelings for them over time, right? The exact opposite is happening for this person. As time passes and as they feel your absence, these feelings for you are intensifying. Um, and now it's like making them realize that this is true love. That, yeah, they don't feel like they can escape the connection. They can't get away from you. They feel you. This is probably unlike anything that they've ever experienced before. And it's making, yeah, your love haunts them. Like, they were really trying to convince themselves. They're not able to move on from you. They're heartbroken. Whether they're showing it or not. They're heartbroken, unable to move on from you, suffering and grieving because of this ending or this breakup or this separation that has occurred between the two of you. So yeah, it's like something about that that's making them realize like maybe with their other exes or whoever they had been with before you, you know, after they would leave them alone, they would lose feelings for them and they were able to move on to the next person and they were okay. Like it was okay. It's, it's not happening with you. They're like really going through it because you guys are not together. Um, and that's making them realize that there is something different about this connection. Um, they also, they feel a strong pull towards you that they can't ignore, that they don't understand why they, why they feel so strongly that they want to come toward you. Um, I, this is, this person may not be spiritual like you. They may not, or maybe not as spiritual as you. Um, and they may not know anything about soul, you know, soul connections and twin flames and soulmates and stuff like that. So for them, this is very taboo for them. But yeah, I do feel this person has regrets. Um, yeah, feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo, undo the damage. And we have a love offer, sincere offer of love, romantic gift, expressions of love. So yeah. Tell me about this. Spirit's just saying that like something that you thought was never going to happen, like is going to happen here. Tell me more about how, how what this divine intervention is going to be. 
Okay, so somebody was not making up their mind about something, but let's see. Yeah, they were keeping their love for you a secret or suppressing it. Yeah. Yeah, the star really wants to come out again. Like, Spirit just says there's hope. There's hope for this runner. Like, you, th you thought this person, you thought you would never be in a romantic relation. Like, you thought you guys would never come into union or you thought you guys would never have stability in a solid foundation with this person. But something is changing, y'all. I'm telling you. Because, like, you are there. No one compares to you. First true love. Yeah. You are completely different than these other karmic relationships that they've had. And um, they can't stop thinking about you. What's going to happen? Ooh, they're going through some type of, yeah, what is this, third party? What does this have to do with them? What does this have to do with the collective? One flame, yep. Yeah. Risk. What is third party, though? Apology. What does this have to do with them? Who's the third party? Who's the third party? Phone call. This person does not want you. What is the cutoff? Cutoff of what? Healing. What does this mean for? Maybe there were some things that you guys both needed to cut out of your lives, to be honest. With the mirroring energy coming out, clarifying, cut, it, cut off, cut out. Oh my gosh, that fly. I don't know, y'all. What is the cut out? What was cut out here? There were just things that you guys had like both loose ends on both. Like things needed to still be resolved on your end. There were some things they needed to resolve on their end before you guys could really uh, build a solid foundation together um, and stop repeating these, this cycle. Tell me more about what it was. What we needed to be cut out. So, okay, so we have money, players. So I need to mental prison. Hmm. This person's going to have to go through some things. I'm telling you. They're going to have to go through something. I feel our spirit is saying that this separation was necessary. All right. You guys both needed to heal. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting from that. Like the mirror, like you and this person both need healing. Um, so the separation was necessary. Anything else that they need to know? Yeah. What about karma connection keeps coming out? Yeah, exactly. This was unsustainable. This was unsustainable the way that it was going. The way that the, who you were, who they were, your circumstances, their circumstances, whatever the whatever the situation was, things were unsustainable between you and this person. So you guys needed to have a break. Okay, you guys need to spend some time apart. Really get clear on what it is that you feel and what you want. All right. Anything else? You see, why does third party keep coming out? What about third party? What does this have to do with them? See, what does this have to do with the collective? Who's the, what's the third party though? See, why does it keep coming out with mirroring? There was something. The third party guys could quite possibly be that you and this person both struggle with self-worth issues. Yeah, abandonment issues, validation of self-worth, low self-esteem. That was a big third party blockage for you and this person. Yeah, I don't really see like indication of another person. This person's been trying to hide, guys, how much they really desire you, how much they view you as this, this wish come true. Yeah, healing. Re somebody, healing is the, is the thing, I'm telling you, like... Maybe you guys also need to release your exes, but there's definitely the energy of like a divorce or something. But yeah, there's, yeah. Somebody also had people that, there's people around them gossiping or somebody has somebody around them that gossiping about you, worried about other, worried others will talk, heard rumors about you. Okay. Going in circles. They were maybe listening to the wrong advice. They're about to learn. They're about to be learning. So getting some karma through their finances or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't. Who is 
the work could have not could have also been an issue especially if somebody was going through some financial issues here you guys both feel that strong pull towards each other there was something that needed to be give give like that would have to be given up I don't know if somebody was not either that was on both ends or something. So there was something that was not being given up. Yeah, faded love. This was faded between you and this person. Life partner, soulmate, this love will help you grow. Instant deep connection. Children. So children was an issue or somebody being immature. It says children affecting love life wants to build a family, possible pregnancy. Okay, so we have online dating. So either this is somebody you met online um, or that was an issue. Somebody was on dating apps or something like that. Have an online dating profile, suspicious online activity. Guarded. Yes, you were maybe dealing with somebody that needed attention from other people. That's for some of you. Yeah, guarded, resisting connection. Their guard is up, trying not to fall in love. Okay, so we have fooling both of you on the back of the deck and exhausted. Mm. There was something that this person was choosing over you. And that's why you and this person were fighting all the time. And that's why they were very inconsistent with you. Yeah. Yeah, they were definitely choosing something over you. And they were trying to keep up that situation and a situation with you. Yeah, didn't I say this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too? Yeah. Dishonest to both, selfish intentions, wants their cake and eat it too. So... What is the other situation? What is that that they didn't want to give up? Well, it says, now it says that you are their number one now. There was something that they were choosing over you, but they're about to choose you. What were they choosing? What were they choosing? Career. See? Something that had to do with money. So either they were choosing a situation over you because, like, something, either they were choosing literally their job or money over you, or they were choosing a situation because it was financially beneficial to them, okay? So it's focused on work, work affecting love life, trying to improve their finances. That did keep coming out. Yeah, we have prove it, not confessing unless caught, determined to keep both. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, cake okay, and eat it too. What were they determined to keep? Um, They like, like see like this person, like I'm not saying that this, okay, so something to do with children. So they were maybe trying to stay with the person that they had children with or something to do yeah, we have caught. I'm trash. Convenience. So they were staying in a situation because of convenience. Staying out of convenience. Heart belongs somewhere else. Living in their comfort zone. So yeah, staying in their comfort zone. They did have an issue with like cheating or playing games. They were definitely playing games. That was one of the first things I picked up on. Um, yeah, I found evidence on their phone. Someone said something caught in the act. They got caught doing something. I don't know for some of you. What did they get caught doing? Haven't, yeah, like having, ooh. What did they get caught doing? No. What were they? What was this caught? What does this mean for the, for the collective? I don't know. It's not somebody that they have a sexual connection with. It may not even be somebody that they have a romantic connection with. It could have, I don't, this is getting messy, guys. This is why I don't like getting this deck out. Because I'm like, what in the hell? What was the benefit to that other situation, Spirit? And then I'm going into the tarot because we're not doing this. What was the benefit that they were getting from this other situation? See, it was their comfort zone. See, they're, they've been long, see, that's them feeling drawn to you. Longing to be together, missing you, nostalgia, suffering, and silence. A charming Casanova tells you what you want to hear, talks their way out of trouble. See, preparing. What? This doesn't make sense, y'all. So it's like somebody that they love and like they, yeah. But it says preparing for a union, making silent moves, wanting to surprise you, clearing the path for a union. You are their number one, but they've been staying. What's the love bond card though? 
indestructible. Well, okay, what does that do with the collective? Hard to get and desperate. This person's feeling desperate for you. So uh, this love bond must be you. What, what, what were they choosing over you? Let's see, what are they doing? It could have been, mm, what were they choosing? Spirit don't want to tell me. <laughs> what were they choosing over the collective? Somebody that they were, yeah, they just wanted to have their cake and eat it too in some way. For some of you, they didn't want to get rid of their little people that they were talking with on these dating apps, okay? Like, that's what it was. Like, they were texting other people. They were talking to other people on dating apps or something, getting attention from other people, and they weren't ready to get rid of that. Mm, but that is changing because it says deep personal transformation can no longer resist change. Ch change for the better, and it's because of you. Something about you triggering transformation in this person. Also, this person's feeling very desperate for you because, yes, as an everlasting love surviving it all, you will stay together. And it's like you're in this hard to get energy now, rejection, not settling for less, playing hard to get. And they're feeling desperate, can't let go, desperate for love, fear of ending the relationship. I don't know, y'all. They're not really telling me. Yeah, heart to heart. They want to talk. But yeah, they, they finding a workable compromise. Yeah, reconciliation. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that you could have met online. But if not, then this person was. Hmm. For a lot of you, it wasn't even like, like I said, like it's not even a person. It's just like them not wanting to leave their comfort zone, them having feelings and emotions for you. Oh, that's the one thing I did forget to touch on that crush card. So like this person had feelings for you, but they didn't think that they loved, they weren't sure if they loved you. That's what it is. Like they were like, yeah, you know, I like the collective, Like they're cool. I, I think I, I, you know, they make me happy. I have fun with them, but like, do I love them? Like, do I love them enough to leave my comfort zone? Do I love them enough to let my guard down for them? Um, you know what I mean? Like this and something like it says not following their heart, being logical in love, living inside their head. They were overthinking things, but they feel this longing for you. But now, yeah, emotionally immature. That could have been why children kept coming out as well. But yeah, stringing you along as plan B. Like they were just stringing you along until they maybe made the decision to leave their comfort zone or like they they wanted to have their comfort zone and also have this connection um yeah career money was definitely an issue what were they comfortable in let's do that what were they, what's their comfort zone it's like this longing that they feel for you is pulling them something see why does that keep coming out what is what is their comfort zone see exactly what i was just saying not sold on you not sure where it's heading, needing more time before deciding, a lot of doubt and confusion. That's how they were feeling about you. They're not, they weren't sold on you. Yeah, see, friends, family or something. Friends know about it, asking friends for advice, friends interfering. Home, see that home card. Moving in together, living with someone feels like home. What's that do with anything? What's that do with the collective? Marriage, back and forth. Mm hmm. Shut up. Yeah, like this person thought that they could always come back to you. You're the part you feel like home to them. And which I already mentioned, but you're sick of this person coming back to you when they want to. Like you're fed up. The feminine had enough choosing to find someone better, cutting their losses. You're not going to just keep letting this person come back to you when it's convenient for them. Like you're not going to keep dealing with this person that has a fear of intimacy, a fear of letting their guard down. Who keeps letting their friends or family interfere on this connection. Mm. Alright, let's get some tarot. 
we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you guys, that's your energy. You're cutting this person off. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Independent, intelligent, honest, fair, clear boundaries, direct communication, objective. You're thinking about you're you're thinking about the situation logically now, objectively. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For you feel like this person doesn't have anything. You're like, okay, does this person have anything to offer me? No. So then there needs to be boundaries put in place. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Yeah, because they still can't make up their mind about whether or not they want to offer you something stable. And they're having some issues with finances. But they're going to regret not giving you this offer. Being, being stuck in indecision. when Now that you've gone into this Queen of Swords mode. Where you're not, you're cut them off. You're not speaking to them. You're being very clear in setting your boundaries. Like you're not letting them take advantage of you. Yeah, so. Mm, a few more cards. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, the Sun. Um, what does this have to do with the collective? Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. About why? Why do we have all these feminines here? What this person didn't have clarity about, they're going to get what they were unsure about. They're about to be sure what they didn't have clarity about. They're about to get clarity on it. And you will hear from this person. But why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Mm, they're going to want to try to. What does that do with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, though? Mm. What's this mean for the collective? Death and reverse. Uh. See, they haven't changed. What is up with this person? This person's going to maybe want something from you or to give something. They're going to want to reconcile, but they're going through something. So how should the collective, yeah, they're unable to move on from you. So they're going to open up to you in some, but they're not financially stable. I'm just letting you guys know that. You will hear from this person. They will want to reconcile. Um, they will maybe want to try to work on something with you because they aren't financially stable on their own. What is the three of cups? The knight of pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're not. Something's up with their stability and their foundation, their fin financial situation. They're not going to want to wait any longer. Okay, so this is somebody that was maybe trying to wait until they like had improved their situation. They were more stable, but they don't want to wait any longer. They view you as wish fulfillment. All right, and they're not able to move on from you. So I feel like they're going to want to come in and why the ten of swords two of wands raver something didn't work out i'm telling you something else didn't work out for them if they whatever they were choosing over you that situation was not working out so that they're, they're realizing that it's toxic abusive they're detaching from they're walking away from something so that they, and they're going to start investing time and energy into you planting seeds with you yeah yeah, this person's about to rush towards you with communication and try to recover this connection and wanting to move things forward. I see you guys probably being very, eh, they're going to, yeah, they're going to be less guarded. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, they've had a wake-up call. They've had a tower moment in their life and they're taking a leap of faith. 